in the years immediately after I left school, I, um, I, I, I went to sixth form college. I mean, uh, I was all, always wanted to do well in life, and I naturally assumed that, you know, it was the best way forward, I guess, you know, as, as everyone kept telling me. And, yeah, but I, went to, I went to sixth form colleges, and then that's when they started, you know, I, I had some problems, apparently, and that's when they started telling me that I might need help to kind of stop the kind of issues I was having and it, it didn't feel right and in the end I kind of dropped out of sixth form college because I just I didn't really think that they really understood who who I was really and they kind of saw I had too many problems about me I don't think they understood what I was about well I had a, I had a couple of them, well they, <laughs> they call them episodes but I had a kind of um, stuff when I was studying for my A levels I had a, a few kind of like problems and they they called it schizophrenia or, or whatever but they wanted to put me on like on drugs and I was just uh, it's just not right I don't want to go on drugs I, I don't now and I didn't want to then and they want to put me on drugs because I had they thought it was stress related at the time because A levels are a very stressful period as they kept telling me but they wanted to put me on drugs because apparently you know I, I was starting to act in ways that people weren't really appreciating, shall we say. Well, some of the examples that people weren't really appreciating, I guess, would, would be like the incidents on um, in Stafford. Um, I, I, I have, I have, I, I seem to know, people don't really understand this, I'm sure, you know, you kind of laugh when I tell you, but I can kind of see what kind of what cars and license plates are coming it's really kind of odd and you won't really understand it I'm sure no one has done yet but just I, I just know what kind of kind of cars and license plates are coming down the road uh, and no one understands it but I, I can and I wanted to just whenever I told people you know, this is what kind of started at Sixth Home College when I started doing this and telling people I could do this they didn't believe me it's, it's rubbish, they say, you know, that's just not right. So I wanted to prove to them that I could do it. And, you know, it, it was something I could do. And I, I, was, I was driving driving through Birmingham one day and I just wanted to show people what I could do. And I, I, st I stopped on the motorway and, and tried to show people that I could tell what colour cars and licence plates were coming. And I started to direct them one way or another by colour and licence plates. And then the police came, and they, and they was put, I was put in hospital, and and it, it went really downhill from there. Why I I don't like taking tablets is because it's they 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 numb who I am, you know. I mean, I don't like the idea of people giving me tablets to make me someone else. Well, what if someone said to you, I don't like who you are, take these tablets, you can be someone different. You wouldn't like that, would you? You are who you are. You take the tablets and you become someone different. And even if people don't like, you know, what something about you, you shouldn't take tablets to change that. If I don't like you because you have ginger hair, I wouldn't make you dye your hair, would I? It's not right. It's who I am. And I don't want to take tablets to make me change my abilities. I mean, I know people think it's rubbish and whatever, but it's, it will change who I am. And whenever I'm involved in any sort of psychiatric or, or hospital treatment, all they want to do is change me and give me drugs. And it's just, it's, it's wrong, you know? I wouldn't ask you to change anything about, you know, yourself, would I? So why would the people want to, want to change me? What does schizophrenia mean to me? It means it's just a word to me. It's just a word you can find in a dictionary, you know? It, it doesn't show who I am. They're just trying to label me in a textbook. That's all they do in hospitals, you know. It's easy for some people, oh, he has a broken leg, dead simple. But with someone like me, it's like, you have schizophrenia, okay. Well, you know, that doesn't say who I am. That doesn't kind of take into account what I do with my life and who I am. And that's, one, that's why <clears throat> I hate all this kind of drugs rubbish. Because, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't take me into account. It doesn't take me into account at all. And schizophrenia for me is just a word on a page in a medical dictionary which doctors have been brought up using these dictionaries and they just slap a tag on you and that's it. And, you know, oh, he's got schizophrenia. We better give him the drugs. And that's it.
it's never kind of about you or what you know what's what you know what's Ronnie what's wrong with Ronnie today you know not kind of anything like that but rather he's schizophrenic let's give him the drugs yeah I I did try to kill myself a couple of times it was it was just when it got got too much you know it's just when when people don't it's like I was speaking like a, a foreign language you know it was that I felt that distant from people they just didn't understand anything I did or said or felt like and when you feel that isolated from someone from the whole world you just feel oh what's the point you know and also you know it's my body at the end of the day if I if I'm not happy with with what with what's going on in my life and I feel that there are things that doctors can't solve which is a lot of things trust me but why do they have to get involved I don't understand that if I want to do something about me being unhappy which I am all the time it's not their job to stop me I know it is in the law but it shouldn't be their job to stop me well it's like when I'm in hospital I'm I'm done under the, the mental health acts and it's when I'm there they, they, they can do whatever the hell they want to me basically which really annoys me to no end I mean Basically, when you when you're in hospital under the Mental Health Act, you're not you're not a human being anymore. You're just a person in the bed. They could do whatever the hell they want. So, and you know they they pump me full of everything they have going, which you know the textbooks tell me schizophrenia, and I hate that so much because it just it deadens you inside. It's like watching yourself from another person. I that won't probably make sense to you, but it's like you can see yourself and what you're doing from outside your body almost and it's like you feel so numb and, and, and disconnected with the entire world and it's like any emotion you have whether it's like sadness joy love hate it's gone just gone and it's just like this rather than a heartbeat that goes up and down it's just a line of I feel fine yeah okay my mum's just died I feel fine I've won the lottery I feel fine It's and I hate that you couldn't live like that could you could you it's, it's just it's just wrong. Then when I'm out of hospital, they want me to carry on taking me this this rubbish. And why would I? Why would I want to take this rubbish outside of hospital when they don't force me to? And and I get to be who I who I really am again. And then when after you know I've spent like three months detained under this this act, and I get out for what nine, and actually start living my life again, and actually start enjoying starting to enjoy my life again. Without this this meditation, which takes like a month to get out of your system anyway, they just put me back in again. Three months out, nine, sorry, three months in, nine months out. That's all my life seems to be at the minute. Three months in, nine months out. But I tell you what, if all I ha- if three months in is the price I have to pay for being free for nine months, I'll do that if I have to. I hate it with all my heart while I'm in that godforsaken hospital three months of the year. But when I'm, you know, if that's the price I have to pay to actually live my life for nine months, then I guess that's just something I'm going to have to do. And I know every time I leave, it's what they, you know, they're going to say, take these you know, twice a day and, you'll, and you won't have to come back here. Well, it's like, I can either choose to have my, my entire life medicated and be this, this monotonous, boring person that you see you know, working behind the till at Sainsbury's. I don't want to be like that. I just don't want to be like that. Or I could, you know, actually try living my life for nine months and ending back in that hospital for three. And that's what I said before. It's about actually living your life, the peaks and the troughs. You can live the peaks of your life in the nine months you're out, but the troughs when you're three months in, rather than you're on medication 12 months and you're not in hospital and you're just a line. You just exist. That's it.